Hey, what's going on? I hope that you are doing good. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Reason Rack plugin. And over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be focusing on different aspects of the Reason Rack. But today, I wanted to talk about how the Reason Rack plugin is a semi-modular synth or a semi-modular instrument. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different patches that I've already made, and then we'll make one from scratch together. Beautiful. I made these a couple of days ago, so I'm not sure what the specific aspect is. So we'll explore them together. That's pretty cool. Let's open it up and see what we got in here. We have two different uh, subtractive synthesizers going here. We have two different Pulsar LFOs, which are controlling different parameters. Up at the top here, if you take a look, you can see that we have a mixer. I've got one of these LFOs going into the level input or control for channel four, another LFO or LFO one going into the panning. Take a listen to what it sounds like. <laughs> right, um, and then let's go over to this one here. This is the volume one. This is automating this fader here. This is the beauty of the Reason Rack, and I think once I wrapped my head around this, it made sense that they stuck with rack extensions for such a long time instead of going into VSTs. This is awesome because every single thing can connect to each other. So when you pull in a device and you're looking on the front of it, you might sort of think like, oh, you know it'd be cool if I could use an LFO to control the fader on a mixer. You can, right? Um, and with most instruments, there is a way that you can do that. Within Combinator, you also have these different CV input sources, and then you have a modulation matrix here where you can address and assign different things that aren't patchable on the back. So it, the whole thing, you can connect everything together. So I have out of LFO1 here, uh, what do I have here? Just this triangle here. And I have this running into CV1 on our Combinator. It's going into this second subtractor and it is controlling the LFO one rate. Now, if we go over here and we take a look at this subtractor, if we flip it over, there's a bunch of different modulation inputs here, but there is not an input for LFO rate. So that's, again, that's sort of the beauty of the reason rack is that if there's something that isn't patched or patchable on the back of the device, you can still access it, which makes all of this modular. You can connect everything all together. Um, let's keep on moving. Let's listen to some more patches. Here's our next patch. This is called LFO Punch. I'm just using different LFOs and I have the tempo sync off, which is allowing me to get up into this audio rate. It also appears that what I've done is I've run out of the mixer back into the mixer and then into this combinator. So I've created a sort of feedback loop um, and uh, so yeah, I needed to use a limiter to make sure that I didn't destroy my speakers, but take a listen. I like this like boom at the end of that. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep moving. So much blood, please, let's see. This is another interesting patch because again, I'm not using a traditional instrument. I'm not using a subtractive synthesizer. I'm just using LFOs and I've got the LFOs running into a unison. So basically I'm using the LFO as a, an oscillator and then I'm key triggering it by setting up this keyboard follow. And I have this running through a bunch of different types of filters. I wanted to explore filters with this one here, so I believe that I have this LFO modulating this XY of this formant filter. I have another LFO that is controlling the cutoff here of this comb filter, and then I have an LFO controlling the cutoff of this ladder filter. And then all of that together is creating this sort of like pulse width type sort of sound. I have set up a control knob here for the filters. Let's take a listen and just see what this sounds like. Uh, let's keep 
keep moving here. Module bass. What do we got? <laughs> sort of a generic sound. Now, this is sick. Let me make sure that this is still on. This is just a bunch of different modules or rack extensions from Murph. And they're free, which is really, really cool. So you can go on to the Reason Store and then just pull these down. But this is really the modular experience. So you have uh, just a straight up ADSR. You have a VCA, a VCO, a VCF, another ADSR that I have set up here. Uh, MIDI control here so that you're able to set up routing or notes or whatever. And then if you flip the rack over, you can see that all of this stuff is pretty complex. I've got some uh, CV splitters so that I was able to sort of send this modulation to different places or whatever. Um, so in theory, you could create your own synth. You could make your own sounds and set up your own signal paths. And I don't really know of... Um, another very popular DAW that does something like this. There's just something that's special about this because I think it starts making you think in that way that you would when you do have hardware. And I think that you're much more likely to stumble across happy accidents. Um, but anyways, here's what I got. Cool, all right. Yeah, so those were all of the patches that I built. Let's just do one quick one together. We're not gonna get lost or anything. All right, so let's go ahead and delete this here. And we're gonna go ahead and go to utilities. And we're just gonna bring in this Pulsar LFO, right? No sound at all right now. What I'm gonna do is turn this tempo sync off. I'm gonna flip the rack over. We'll open this up. I know that I'm probably gonna wanna go into a mixer as I build this out. I'm gonna take the audio output and put it into the mixer. And then from out of the master output, I'm gonna put this into the main out, which goes into Ableton, right? So the, the first channel there. And let's take a listen. Nothing. But if I turn this rate up, we should start to hear this. You can see on the um, on this uh, mixer here that it's already generating some noise, but I think it's just super, super low. There it is. Cool, right? Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna turn the level off, right? And then what we're going to do is use this option here. We're going to turn the level up on this envelope and what this should allow me to do. Right. And so we have just an AR, so attack and release. So I can sort of, and if I turn the attack all the way down, I turn the release up pretty long, right? Um, I'll put this back to something like that. I'm going to turn the level up just so that we get some more volume. Oh, geez. Right? Let's go ahead and take a look at our different waveforms that we have. This is pretty cool already, right? Because now you've got basically your oscillator and then you have a very simple amp envelope to be able to control that. And then you can run that in here. So we could already start kind of coming up with like some ideas. LFO2 is not being used. So we could run the output from LFO2 into um, our mixer and control the panning, right? Let's turn this on. We have this, these arrows that are pointing in this direction, indicating that you can control these options here with this LFO. So if I turn up the rate here, this is LFO 2's contribution to LFO's rate. And then as I move the rate of LFO 2, I should be able to get some sort of FM sounds. Yeah, buddy.
there's no need for all that. Let's go ahead and delete this. So maybe we can continue with this here and then let's go ahead and add in a synth. Pull this in here, flip this over, output going into this one here. We'll go ahead and go back to utilities and we're gonna go ahead and pull in this ARP here. We're gonna run the gate out there, CV note here, here. Let's go ahead and get that's kind of cool. Hey, whatever, right? I'm just making sound effects, so I'm not going to get nuts here. Um, let's go ahead and go to our effects, and I'm going to bring in a reverb. I'm going to hold down shift so that it doesn't automatically connect it. Merger and splitter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here and put this into one of the outputs of this split here. I'm going to take the output from the synth and put it into this input here. And then I'm going to take one of these outputs and put this into the, the reverb. And then out of the reverb, I'm going into channel three. Um, I'll mute this, this first sound. So we should have on channel two, our ARP sound. And then we should have on channel three, our complete wet reverb sound. If you look on the back of Subtractor, we have a bunch of different modulation outputs. And one of them is the mod envelope. So if we flip this over, you can see that there's this envelope that's not normalized to anything. It's just there, we can use it for whatever. Another subtractive synth here, gate from the mod envelope out. So I'm gonna take this mod envelope out of here and I'm gonna put this into the level CV control on channel three for our reverb send. I'm not even using any of the sound from this particular synth. I'm just using the envelope out of this. So we've got this really slow attack. I'm just gonna um, mute this for the time being here. And what we should see is it's gonna just sort of ramp up. How sick is that? And then obviously we could do a decay on there too so that it sort of goes up and down right, while this other thing is playing in the background. It's kind of nice. And then what we can also do at this point is then we can start using Ableton sounds to affect this. So once you've created your patch, boom, you just, you just sort of leave that and then take your mind back over into Ableton world and then you're able to then further develop these patches so that you're stacking the layers, like as if you were cooking, right? Where you like sort of stack the layers of flavor. I hope that that makes sense, but. Sick. Some effects on my master chain. I can take that sound even further. just sort of take this to a different level. Okay, I think that that's more than enough. Um, all right, hey, listen, I hope that you have a super good week and if you get a chance, take a listen to some of the music that I have in the description down there and um, bye.